going on everyone hey it's uh, a little after nine o'clock at night right now um i was just talking about in my last video i posted that there is a chance of snow again tonight um they switched that over to a freezing rain again and uh this is some of the freezing rain that we had from this morning it's just still glare ice i never salt it here at home but uh i want to i've seen a couple people do it where they go out and do some pre-salting I want to go give that a try here tonight. I'm not sure if it's going to work. I'll still get up early enough to go check. But it's something I want to go try. And I figure like on a storm. Not a, This isn't even a storm. But a, a winter event I guess you would call it. I want to go try. See if that even makes a difference. Uh, doing something like this. So alright let's go. I'm going to fire up the dually. And I'm going to go run and get some salt. And I also got to get some bags of salt for salt in my, the sidewalks. I'm going to salt the sidewalks heavy um you know what i actually what i'm going to do is i'm just going to get extra heavy salt in the actual salter uh, v-box itself and i'll just shovel the salt out of there into a bucket uh when and when i need it that seemed to work out good the last time i did that so that's what i'm going to do again so all right let's take you guys along leaving quick trip here you probably can't make it out on camera whoever the uh, plowing contractor is that's here they had the same idea of going out and doing a pre-salt uh, the salt that's out here is definitely fresh so kind of uh, happy I'm out and about doing this but stopped at quick trip to get a, a, a blueberry muffin I was in the mood for one of those so let's go get some salt and go do some pre-salt then for the first time ever let's see if I have some better luck than Ryan getting this lock uh, undid here, undone, undid, whatever English vocabulary. Ooh, like butter. Came right apart. So I got uh, just about two scoops, full scoops of salt in here. And uh, that should be enough to do my parking lots, plus uh, have extra to do all the sidewalks. Generally, I only get um, a scoop and a half, and that's like the perfect 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 amount to take care of uh the accounts that i take care of all right so i got all the uh city sidewalks and uh sidewalks for the buildings done so i'm gonna go around and start spreading salt with the salter Alright, so that's one of the accounts that uh, I sold. Um, got uh, a couple more other commercial accounts to head to and go do. But uh, I will wake up in the morning here uh, bright and early and I will let you know if this all worked out for me or not. So, see you guys in the morning. So I thought I was going to end the video off uh, earlier uh, in the last clip that you guys saw. But, um, I got way too much salt. Um, I didn't take in consideration that there was no snow on the ground so when you go to salt a parking lot it just looks absolutely crazy until there's something there so I could have gotten away with just uh, just a scoop and a half uh, that's what I got about I got about a half skid loader bucket in the salter yet so gotta empty that out but uh, either way I'll catch back up with you guys tomorrow morning well good morning um, it's a little after 7 30 right now uh, I went out and pre-salt it last night. I'm not sure if it really worked out that great. I'm sure it bought me a little, uh, just a little time this morning. Parking lots are definitely getting slick again, so I'm gonna get another load of salt and go uh, hammer some salt down. So let's take you guys along. time has passed since the uh, last clip that I took with you guys uh, I went out salting twice now and the weather has changed uh, I don't know how well here let me roll the window down here but 
it is now starting to snow so i'm just leaving b52s ryan's favorite rest restaurant but uh we go ch take a look at the account see what we got to do from there and uh i think this storm or this uh weather is supposed to go until about three o'clock four o'clock this afternoon it is uh two o'clock right now so i'm gonna kind of let this build up see what happens and uh go do a final scrape later on here all right snow is starting to build up i'm gonna let it build up before uh i try doing any scraping or anything like i said i've already salted these places twice which is that's a lot of salt to be putting down so i'm gonna let the let this kind of build up a little bit and then uh when the storm starts rat winding down here i'll get out here and uh come through and scrape everything put a final load of salt down then so catch back up with you guys when uh we actually start pushing some slop well this snow is picking up pretty good it's around 3 30 right now i'm going to go around and start um scraping some of this stuff up just for the fact that people are going to start leaving to go to work and uh or leaving to go home and everything um usually right now just to kind of do like a quick little scrape i would just use the dually but once again the neutral safety thing on that truck crapped out so i'm gonna use a skid loader here start it up like nothing I just did a kind of a half, halfway decent little scrape. Let the snow build up a little bit more and then we'll come through to a final and salt. And then this one will be done. Stuff is just wet slop. Started out as rain and sleet and then it got a little bit colder and turned into this, this mush. So I'm gonna get my final round of salt, but for some reason the battery on this machine is dead. So I got the jumper cables on it. I wonder if that's, uh, gonna do it for me i've tried cranking on it a couple times and it's not starting let's give it a try again it's getting fuel hmm wonder what the deal is Try it again. Yeah, it's got a, almost a half thing. Almost. She was not happy about that.
block heater, either the breaker trip or the block heater don't work on this thing anymore. So they had no problem the other day starting in that negative, negative weather. So, huh, interesting. I have to let Lon know about that. I'm just gonna get one more scoop and that should be plenty for what we're doing today. Try starting it again, see if that charged it enough. Okay. So back here at the counts, it, uh, it's, I won't even call it a flurry anymore. So I'm gonna go around, do a final scrape, and then uh, go through and pound some salt down onto these. And then uh, go around, do the sidewalks, and that'll be a wrap for today. This was just kind of one of those nuisance uh nuisance storms that just kind of kept coming all day and bringing something new every time and but we're just about done i think this week it's supposed to be really warm i want to take this machine home or to the shop or something and do a really good job cleaning this thing up So I just got done, uh, or I just wrapping up with salting here. Uh, I didn't film that obviously because you guys have seen salting a couple times in this video now. But uh, I see Big Ray over there. I'm gonna go check on him, see if he needs any help. So let's head over there. Look at Big Ray go. That snow exalter really does a nice job, that's for sure. I'll stop up here, see if I can catch him. What's going on, Big Ray? Good. Good, how about you? Yeah, good, good, good. Just saw me. I, I feel like I, I didn't need to plow it. This is little. Yeah, I mean, if, if you do the condos over there, you might have to go a little heavier then because there is, you know, a half inch and it's. Is it half inch over there, Tommy? Yeah, it snowed over here pretty good over here. Yeah, I did. I just looked over there. So, okay. yeah, do, you, do you still have my number? Yeah, I do have your number. Yep. Okay, if you need help, I'm I'm right up the road. That so sounds good. Yeah, I I, I let Tino go because I I need him. It's easy. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> how have you been? You think, you think I should? The tunnel's a half inch. Hey, let me come over there. I can I can't hear you. Tunnel's a half inch. Ah, boy. Oh yeah, that because they don't get driven on like a parking lot like this. Yeah, right, right. So I'm gonna go heavy over there. What's that? I'm gonna go heavy. It's gonna be like. 34 35 at night and then it's gonna pick up to 37 so yeah like, and then by the end of the week it's supposed to be in the 40s yeah, we so put some salt in the morning heavy salt. yeah i seen that yeah, yeah i seen you guys <laughs> out there <laughs> so and then uh yeah so it was super slippery oh yeah People crashed. oh yeah it's that's yeah. it's bad out here it's it's slimy that's for sure <laughs> it was definitely, it was so, so yeah i'm gonna finish this up go to condos right away and then okay Sounds good. Like I said, if you need anything, I'm right, right down the road. I'm just gonna run home, and go eat some dinner. Thank so, you so much. yep, we'll see ya. Yep. So if uh, got done just talk, got just got done talking to Big Ray there. If uh, any of you guys don't know what his channel is, it's Big Ray of Sunshine. Go give him a follow. But uh, that's gonna be it for for tonight. I'm gonna pick this video back up tomorrow. I'm gonna probably edit a lot of what I did out today. 
uh, it's just it was just kind of salting and just kind of you know miscellaneous things so but uh, we'll catch back up with you guys tomorrow all right, it's the next day again um, I had mentioned yesterday that I had some issues with my neutral safety switch in this truck here so I'm gonna take the plow off and head to the shop I already had this uh, switch I already had the neutral safety switch uh, ordered uh, earlier last week because I was having a bunch of issues and the one that I have in here is a is just a cheap one from a parts store uh, whenever you do sensors in a vehicle I like to do factory OEM stuff but I didn't have that choice uh, this last snowstorm so I'm gonna get this plow taken off and head, head into the shop now so uh, working on editing this video I have no idea what happened to the rest of my footage that I had uh, after doing this neutral safety switch um, I guess so long story short um, drove the truck to my friend's shop uh, you know replaced the neutral safety switch on the transmission hung out there for a little bit and then uh, cleared the codes on it and I uh, came back home and I forgot what I did the rest of that day but sadly I lost the footage and I have no idea where it is so it's gonna be the end of this video thanks again for watching we'll catch you guys in the next one